Right. And three, two, one. Can someone help me? I can't get back into the room. I don't have my ID. Please. I'm do you have ID? Again. I do. I don't. Damn. I just, I just bought it. I bring it back. Uh, I don't know. I think everybody needs a relaxing right now. I think just everybody just needs yeah, to relax, fucking, but keep yeah, in I, mind I, I it's drugs. final I, I week. I take it's final week. I do want drugs. I want drugs. <laughs> I haven't had weed all day and I think I think I think I'm kind of I like, want to be like dumb and take a fucking muscle relax and just fucking Hold on. Uh, hold on. I will have you know. No, nah, that's absolutely true. That's actually exactly what happens. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's really. Um, oh, you, oh, you literally, you, you, you mistake this for having any semblance of structure. First off, just move closer to me, so that way you, you perfect space. Oh yeah, just, just bring it in, dude. Bring it in. All that intimacy right there. Yeah. Is this going online? Oh yeah. No, oh, it's not. Okay. I'm just, I don't, I honestly don't know what I'm fucking doing with this. I'm just, chill, I'm just having us sitting here no, like chilling. The only difference being we're recording. It's like a real casual spot. Uh, Alright, so if you're ever intending to keep this video, today's always, date is uh, always, April 22nd. April 22nd, uh, I'm Dom. Here's my phone, I didn't bring it. <laughs> if it helps, I didn't bring my phone either. I have a quiz tomorrow and I don't want to take it. Ah, uh, dude, who does? Like, just quizzes are the worst. Just fucking try. college, man. If it were up to me, you know what I would do? Instead of taking the standardized tests, I would fucking just have every person come up to the front of the room and do improvised dance. And based entirely on their own performance, based on what they put into the dance, and how much they passionately care about it, that is what they would get graded on. Taking any applications? Uh, no. Okay. Damn. Um, yeah. <laughs> You realize this is like not supposed to be formalized at all, right? This is literally just supposed to be us doing a. <laughs> this is the, the whole point of this is just us recording us, right? Uh -huh. And like the, the camera is just there. You know? It's just there. That's the whole point of it. Like, that's the beauty of filmmaking is that the whole point is that you're supposed to interact, right? As if there is no camera there, right? So it would just be us two, but the camera's there. But it's yeah, that's not kind of there, hard for me right but now. But it is there. Right now, we're just in general. Okay. All right, in general. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, you didn't actually answer my questions that, until uh, after that, but... I forgot. <laughs> but this, this is just literally just, like, too amazing. Uh, the only thing I will say is that when we are talking, I would say, keep your body centered like that. Perfect. That, 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 like, that creates, like, good framing, you know, like, maybe like that. Perfect. That creates good framing. And that way, literally, when we turn, just, like, turn our heads back and forth like that. I don't know. I got that fucking technique from Deadpool, and ever since I've been using it. What, what technique? The, uh, this. <laughs> you know we fucking turn our head back and forth like a million and a half times? I just don't do that. I don't oh. know. Oh, man. Uh, you know what I think I am? I think I'm one of those people that, like, has just such insane chemistry with everyone that, like, it doesn't matter who I'm with as long as they're not, like, you know... You know what? I'm not going to say that because at the risk of sounding too, like, non-PC. But I you know mean, what I mean? Just some, some people who, like, get along with certain types of people, you know? I just feel like I'm that person, you know? And so, that's not me being an idiot. Well, I mean, it's absolutely me being an idiot. Who the fuck am I kidding? But you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, can I hear that? Of course. Thank you. It's all yours. I agree with that. I mean, I, 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 I see. I can't. I have trouble standing in one place for a while. Dude, who doesn't in our generation? We are a generation full of ADHD people. We were raised <laughs> with goddamn things uh, of plastic yeah. that are projecting information into our brains 24-7 from the age of... Fucking Actually, wait, fire. we were we were like already like fully matriculated, so we're kind of like the perfect even gap where we weren't... We didn't completely grow up with technology in our lives, but it also has been in a sufficient portion of it, but we still remember a time before it, so... <laughs> I was in that time. I would I say that. three quarters of our lifetime so far, because I would say, like, I'm trying to remember, I was 10 when my mom got her first iPod, and this is, like, 2006, 2007, wait, wait, just wait, wait, about, wait. When so... When did you get your first phone? First personal. phone or first smartphone? Personal. Personal. First personal. Okay, personal phone, seventh grade, but that was the flip. How old were you? Twelve. I was 15. Uh, wait, 15? Like, you can shift. 15? Just literally stand right there. That's literally all I'm saying. Just stand okay. there so that there's space in between there. Mm -hmm. That way there's some kind of symmetry. Yeah, so back to the topic. I was 15 when I got my first phone. That's like... I knew half my life, and I'm happy with that. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's actually really good. I mean, who would want to fucking grow up with a freaking phone in front of their face? 
since the day they were born. Good not, point. Not me. Good point. Bad. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, when you're, like, fucking a kid and you're in school and you're bored of shit and you'd rather be doing anything else other than listen to fucking somebody in the front of the room who you don't, for, for at first, <laughs> at least, don't care about... <laughs> Like, what else? Like, the perfect distraction. Oh, here's this thing that literally has any source of information uh, that uh, I want. Uh -huh. Literally anything that I can pull out of my pocket and, like, not even, like... And now it's so good where... Now you don't even have to move your fingers on the keyboard. Before, it was, like, at the very least, no, you had to... Exert. See, ours, we grew up, you know, not privileged. You know, these, like, new Dude. guys, they don't know what it was like <laughs> when you actually had to fucking move your uh. finger on the keyboard <laughs> in order to fucking, you know... Get directions, get the information. No, now these kids are spoiled. Now they can fucking just take out their phone and just be like, Siri, do this, or Google, yeah, do I this, mean, whatever the fuck, I don't depending even do on. That. I don't do that much. Yeah, because it. it's fucking stupid. Because you already have a brick that has any bit of information you would want. Now you're getting to the point where you just have to talk. Like, I'm sure that this is probably me sounding like an ageist fuck. Because if I'm being completely honest, in 20 years, everybody's gonna be doing it and it's gonna mm -hmm. be the norm. So, mm -hmm. like, what the it, fuck do it, I know? Is, but. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's a big thing that I've been trying to do though is I'm, I've been trying to just like like separate what I think are legitimate problems versus what are just me being ageist because literally no joke things are moving so fast now mm -hmm. that like we can sound ageist too you know like that's always the thing that we always like accuse adults of of like oh those adults they don't know what they're that's talking about and then, then, I mean that already that, that's the problem we think that's gonna be us in ten years that, that already is, is us yeah. exactly I agree with exactly that. I agree. that's already us. I agree. So oh, during our time, we did this. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Alright, it's getting hot now. It's been hot. How do you think I felt for the last like two hours that I've been here? It's what, like nine o'clock now? Well, this is your thing, so. True, true. But it was like hot when I got here before I even set that up. Oh. And you think these things are hot? Try fucking going under those fucking things. Or I'm even gonna point around the camera, cause fucking. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Fucking try and work with those things. What are those? That's the dumbest part about Black Panther. Hold on, I actually have to fucking reposition this. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Saf, are we like shooting a music video now? No, I just tried to disappear. Oh. What? Why do you do that? Huh? Don't say shit, sad shit like that. Not sad shit, I shouldn't say no, it. Sad shit is important. Sad, if, if Inside Out taught me one thing, it's that sadness is important. Surprisingly enough. But, uh, it's not the, just the useless, pointless emotion that I originally thought it was. Which again, I think, it might be the secret message of Inside Out is that sadness is, is that showing that sadness is not pointless. Again, back when Pixar was actually intelligent. <laughs> uh, True facts, before they cashed out and just made sequel after sequel, shitty sequel after shitty sequel after shitty sequel. Damn, I'll never ever know how to do bull, how to, like rings the right so, way. Ever since I watched Lord so of the Rings, dude, ever since, it's like, damn. All right, Dom, I go down. Damn, quiz tomorrow. Uh, I get Yo, we, can we do this again? Absolutely, dude. We can Whenever do this fucking, you have it up. Dude, we can literally do this every night if you want to.